In this video, I wanna chat about doing position tolerances when your datums are holes instead of just being planes. So I'll put a drawing up on the board on the on the screen right here. In this case, datum A is the plane, the top of the part, datum B is a hole, and datum C is a hole. And then the patterns of holes come off of those datums. Now I want to bring your attention to the way this drawing is dimensioned. It's similar to a drawing I've done before. Basic dimensions always come from datums, we know this, but they can be looped together as long as they go back to the datums. So the dimensioning scheme is very, very similar in that all of the dimensions come from the middle of the drawing, which come from the datums. So the alignment for this part is gonna be coming from the middle of the part, and then I'm gonna take the datums into account when I do the position tolerance. Now I'm sure there's a way to do an alignment with uh, two holes in a plane, but I find it easier to do an alignment with just a couple 2D lines in a plane and then take those uh, circle or the datum features and just use them specifically for the position tolerance. And I'll show you what I mean on the computer screen. Another thing I want to mention is we've got datum shift capability here. So in that position tolerance, the Tolerance has an MMC symbol, which is our bonus tolerance, so we get more tolerance if the hole comes in larger. But we've also got more tolerance if the datum feature holes come in larger. It allows the whole pattern to shift around. Now luckily, the computer's gonna figure all that out for us. It's a very difficult thing to figure out on a plate when you're doing uh, calculations by hand. You have to do things like paper gauging and there's like proprietary calculators. Size Calypso is gonna do all of that for you as long as you punch it in correctly, which I'm gonna show you how to do. So let's dive right in to the computer here. I've got the part on the table. I've labeled datum B, C, datum A is this plane. Now, I'll show it right here. Here's my features. Datum A is that top plane. Datum B is one of the holes. Datum C is one of the holes and I've done symmetry features for our alignment. So I'll open up the alignment real quick. So a spatial rotation is datum A, X. Uh, those symmetry features are planar rotation, X origin, Y origin, and Z origin. This just makes the alignment a little bit quicker to do. Clearance planes are done, we don't have to worry about that. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'll go to circle Circle one, which is one of the pattern of holes. I'm gonna open it up. I'll make sure my diameter is correct. I've got the right tolerance on here. I'll make sure my nominals are correct. And remember, the nominals are gonna come from the middle of the part, just like the drawing. Now, I'm gonna hit okay here. I'm gonna go to form and location, position, double click. The feature I wanna consider is circle one. I'll hit OK here. Now, notice the nominals are good, no problem. They're just like they uh, show up on the drawing, they're gonna come from the circle feature. But when we change the alignment, which we have to do because we have it take into account that datum B and C are features of size. Okay. So datum A is gonna be the plane, datum B is gonna be that first hole, and datum C, is gonna be that second hole. Now if you notice, you can see our datum reference frame for that position is gonna be a little bit crooked, and a lot of bit crooked, right? Notice also, now our nominal positions are way off. So what it's doing is trying to fit that between those two features. How we're gonna fix it, instead of just changing the nominals, we're gonna to go to datum reference frame special. Right here, we're gonna rotate by angle and I'll, I'll put a, a picture in the video, but I essentially figured this out by drawing a triangle in a, a CAD program and figuring out that way. But you could do it by trig, you know, by hand if you needed to. So I'm gonna hit okay here. That's gonna shift that datum reference frame over. And if you notice now, our nominals are almost perfect, okay? So I'm just gonna hit a zero there. X is good. I'm gonna hit okay. And if you notice, our position is out. Right? It's out because I didn't give it any tolerance. Now, even though the drawing uh, calls for something different, I'm gonna make the tolerance really, really small so we can see the difference between the two uh, ways to punch this in, okay? So, 
double click position one. In this case, the feature is RFS, the secondary datum is RFS, and the tertiary datum is RFS. What I'll do is copy this, okay? And now I'm gonna change everything to the MMC, okay? And that's all there is to getting the MMB uh, modifiers in your uh, feature control frame to your datum reference frame in Calypso. We're going to hit OK. Now, that position is good, right? Even though, if you look right here, the actual uh, five-tenths of a thousandths is greater than our tolerance, Calypso is figuring out what the bonus and the datum shift is for us automatically, okay? All we got to do is punch it in there. So I'm going to hit OK here. Now, I'll do a report real quick, multiple printout. And it shows us right here, position one is just by itself. Position two gets this extra little bit of tolerance. So you'll see the little M symbol lets you know it's, it's calculating something else besides just the position at RFS. So I could copy this and just change the uh, feature it refers to. Unfortunately, I don't have a CAD model for this. Uh, I have no idea what the actual nominal is from the drawing. I'd have to trig it out. Uh, I don't have SolidWorks on this computer, so I'll just leave it be. But you can just copy that position tolerance. It'll keep that same datum reference frame with that, uh, that angle twist you applied so that you can do all of these holes relatively, quick, relatively quickly. Now, the other thing I got, and I can't do it all right now, but I had a question about composite tolerances. Now, there's a difference between having two single segment position tolerance frames and a composite position frame. Now, if it's two single segments, all you're gonna do is just remove one or two of these datums in the second frame, and that's all you gotta do. With composite tolerances, you'll have to go to make a bore pattern. So it's gonna do a best fit pattern. I'll, I'll try to make a video about that pretty soon, but I just wanted to address it real quick. So that's all I had in this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about adjusting your datum reference frame and applying the MMB to your datum features. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, uh, and I'll try to make more of these coming up soon.